Okay, so for assignment eight in accounting, uh, this one we are looking at the financial statements of a sole proprietorship. So we've already discussed uh, the income statement in the previous assignment, and now we're going to be adding on a couple more, the statement of owner's equity and the balance sheet. So the income statement, first thing you're going to want to do is to complete the heading and um, then filling out the rest of the income, income statement. So the most important thing for these uh, financial statements is really kind of, well, I guess what's most confusing seems to be these columns over here. So in the left column, these aren't like debit and credit columns. This is kind of, these columns are in place to kind of just help you with listing um, account balances and kind of organizing that information. So on the income statement, you need to list out your revenue accounts along with how much the what the balance is is each of those accounts and then as you should know this single line rule indicates that okay we're going to add the numbers above and then we put the total in the right column so the left column is used for listing out the account balances the right column is used for putting in the total of those numbers that you just added in the left column so um, I think the last income statement we worked on, there was only one revenue account, so we could just move that balance directly over to the right column. But if you're ever listing out more than one revenue account or more than one expense account, you need to make sure you're listing the balances in the left column and putting the total in the right column. So that line indicates that we're adding up the numbers that are above. So you're gonna list out your revenue accounts, balances, total revenue, list out your expense accounts, balances, total expenses, and then determine based on your revenue versus your expenses if we're having a net income or a net loss. The next financial statement should be your statement of owner's equity, so complete the heading for that. And in this one, you're gonna to wanna to start with your beginning capital, which, which you, again, pull from this list of accounts. Um, these were the account balances starting January 1st, so our beginning capital is that $5,000, which we can put directly in this right column. Then you're going to add any contributions that would increase our capital. So typically we have any investments by owner, which doesn't look like there were any investments by owner. So that would just be, I'll give you this one, this one kind of completes the student. Investments by owner, and then any other addition to capital, which in this case would be, and I guess this is kind of giving away the previous one, this would be our net income. So whatever you find for your net income on your income statement, that amount needs to be carried over to um, this section on our statement of owner's equity. And then you'll add up those additions to capital and put that total increase in capital here, and you will add that to what we have for beginning capital. So beginning capital plus our total increase in capital will give us our total, our subtotal. Then we list out any things that would reduce our capital, which would be our withdrawals by owner. So you'll see Mark White's drawing account was $100, so you'll want to list that here, um, $100, and then Again, there's that single line rule. So this line indicated we were adding up the numbers above it. Then we have our amount. So now this line indicates we're doing some math with the numbers above it up to the next line. So we looked at our beginning capital, what we added to the capital, then what now what we are subtracting from the capital in order to get our ending capital for January 31st. And then on this last one, this is our balance sheet where we want to list out all of our assets and their account balances and our total assets and compare that to our liability accounts, those account balances, our owner's equity account, that account balance, and um, totaling those here. So we're, this is our, again, this is our balance sheet. So this is where our original accounting equation comes into play. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. We want to make sure that our total assets is equal to our total 
liabilities, and plus owner's equity. So we're listing our liabilities, owner's equity, and we're adding them together here. And we want to make sure that this number ultimately matches this number to tell us that we are in balance. And that is it for this assignment eight.